Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Bank Series. And today I'm just going straight to what happened and why I'm doing this episode. Yes, so the reason I'm doing this episode is because I went through a lot of stress and I think uh, I needed to have gone and sue somebody for having done whatever they did. So that is Dennis C. So today I'm just going to give you the process that I went before I got my first episode back to YouTube. Don't wish to have a copyright take down notice to your content and especially if you know what you did is correct so let me just take you right straight to what happened in my emails i did about 10 of them so as you can see i have this this was a my video was taken down on may 2nd but then i started the counter notification process as you can see here on youtube on my email i did the counter notification first one on may as you can see may 10th so the first one I did, they say we haven't been able to process your content notification information that you provided based on the information that you provided. So I said, okay, let's do this then. So I went back again. Now it's refusing to go back. So I went, that is May 10th, then May 11, as you can see here. I did another one again. They told me we haven't been able to process based on the information that you provided. So I went back again, then May 12th, I did another one at 2.42 p.m. This is an automated, I will let you know when you, we'll keep you posted. Then again, I mean, all this, unfortunately, we are unclear whether you have a valid reason. And the whole thing went on like that until May 13th, as you can see, when I got tired, uh, putting out the counter notification. So I got back to the process again on June 5th after studying and watching a lot of videos about content notification, still, I could get, unfortunately, it's unclear to us whether you have a valid reason for filing this content notification. And then I continued, but luckily on 7th, leave alone the 6th, you can see the 6th there. Then 7th, I did a content notification, thank you. Your content notification has been forwarded to the party that sent the takedown notice, that was 7th. My video was taken down in May, 10th up to june 7th when i did get a breakthrough and as you can see that is may 7th i got uh thank you for that okay sorry then now on 21 21st because it takes 10 us days for the video to be taken back uh, unless i've deleted it so you can see the following videos has been restored unless you have deleted them so i got back the video and I think uh, you can see it here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. So the video is back. And now we can continue to enjoy. Now, today, I'm just going back and hit back at this guy for what they did. So let's get straight to the enough proof. Why? Or enough proof that Denny C scripts his content. So what you're looking at today is a content she he did with one of these ladies called Tamima. And I will share a screenshot of my DM to Tamima asking them to just giving them a right of reply to say yes, they scripted the video, but she hasn't responded. And I sent her, I think it must have been May 20th there. I can't remember, but I'll get you the screenshot as soon as I as I settle so yes basically so this is what we are going to talk today about now getting straight so on this minute uh, this is getting interesting now so Tamima let me just get 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 my things I didn't really prepare for this I just jumped into it so I want you to see what Tamima does uh, how they introduce themselves and then there's a key thing that you need to notice there. So, here it is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me ask. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry, I don't know how to speak English. I don't know how to speak Sahidi. So, apparently this guy is not Kenyan and he doesn't speak Kiswahili. So, I want you to get it clearly that, yes, at this minute, uh, minute 458, let me just play it again. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. 
Okay, so Tamima claims she's lost, but all that point, this guy has not really disclosed where they're coming from, but then that's not the key thing for this uh, episode. So, yes, so we go to the next part, which is now this one. So, yes, just listen for yourself. Thank you, thank you. So, can I have your number? Yeah, okay, all right. So, where are you from? You told me. Uh, you don't actually, speak. Yeah, don't speak. So, you have the key thing is where are you from? Then she's giving, I, I don't know where I kept my phone. So she gives him her phone and asking him, where are you from? And then she confuses, she throws in another question of, uh, can, you, can, I, can, you, can I get your number and, and all that. But yes, the, the key thing is that these guys do not respond to where they come from. So let's check it out again. So can I have your number? Yeah, okay. So where are you from? You told me. Uh, don't actually, speak. Yeah, don't. I, okay, I don't speak Swahili. Mm -hmm. uh, Even one word, one word. Yeah, maybe only the greeting. So this guy was almost saying, "I'm from this country," which we will get to know later. But Tamima did not really give him the chance to say where he comes from or why he doesn't speak Swahili, and she jumps in. Even one word. But then, there are two things that are happening in this case. I just want to, I will actually zoom in to his hands after he grabbed the phone from Tamima that he never put his number on that phone. So let's watch it again from the beginning. Get the point that this lady, Tamima, hasn't gotten where the guy is coming from and why he can't speak in English. So let's watch again and watch his hands as he gives in the phone number. So can I have a number? Yeah, okay. All right. So where are you from? You told me. Uh, don't actually, speak. Yeah, don't. Uh, no. What is hands? Okay, I uh, don't speak Swahili. Mm. Uh, uh, Even one word. One word. Yeah, yeah maybe only That's the not greeting. Not the yeah. phone. Okay, greet me then. He's okay, trying to put and then he stops. <laughs> <laughs> that is basically what I just told you out there, but for Sana. So uh, okay. why why are you saying you have a girlfriend and then you now you oh, want okay, to now the live in the car with me? Yeah, now you know the things are too complicated now. Hmm. Yeah. But sometime ago you were very in such a rush and yeah. is, it, is it because of the car, you know? Uh, okay, so actually Tamima, it's just that's that, realize uh, that this guy yeah. He's holding her phone okay, for long. Yeah, very <laughs> so I was just yeah, that's mm -hmm. why that's what she looks at me. Okay, you put your number? Yeah. Okay, yes. thank you. So all that time this guy did not put the phone number and then you see what Tamiwa does. <laughs> so I was just yeah, that's what that's what's on the me. Okay, you put your number? Yeah. Okay, thank yes. you. So And then she pretends uh, honestly, um, she pretends I'm looking for I don't know. She how do, when you get someone's number, what do you do? You just in the name and something like that. Or you just leave it there, you'll save it later. But what she does, she you can see she taps on the middle button, meaning that she's just clearing the screen of her phone. Well, that's the key thing that you need to notice that he never gave out his number to Tamima. So as I continued, you take note that this guy I didn't mention to Tamima where he is from, and then you're going to get to know where he's from at this time. So let's hear it. Yeah, but so where are you taking me to Malawi? Uh, Malawi. I, I, I need to go to Malawi. So this, this is the 10th minute, and then they have been having a conversation, and then Tamima all from nowhere just asking, when are we when are you taking me to Malawi now we know the guys from Malawi but all that time we didn't know the, where the guy comes from you know what what the NEC does is that he doesn't cut his his scenes to make it sorry and he does it so good I've watched other called digger prank series they keep on cutting and they are so fake but for the NEC he does it so well but today there's a, there's a part he got in this one which I will show you so let's get with here where are you from so, when are you taking me to Malawi? Uh, Malawi. I, I, I need to go to Malawi with you. Ah, anytime you want, I can take you there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Basically, anytime you can be. She, he can take her to Malawi, but well, from the beginning, the moment they met, to the point they got into the car, there was nothing like it was cut. Like maybe he could have disclosed that information. So basically, there is nowhere this guy say that he comes from Malawi. And uh, this is where you get to know that these people had interactions before. Then, now let's go to the last part now where I talked about uh, Denisi not cutting his 
footage. But at this point, he cut one last part. Let's check this out. And I'll need you to be so keen about when he steps out of the car and then the people were outside and what happens. Why I don't get to see him from the rear window. So let's play and see. So you see, he has opened the door. He is outside the door. There is this guy in blue. And I want you to take note where he disappears to. So the person closing the door, he has closed the door. The person in blue is already at the rear window, as you can see. And he disappears. And then all of a sudden, the guy who was in the car appears like on the rear view window. And that is the time I can say the guy was getting his payments. And that car cut, that was so fast. I mean, I mean, like, uh, this guy is so good. Because, uh, well, so let's, watch, let, let's watch it again. He closes the door, the guy in blue comes, appears slightly on the window and then disappears. And then you can see the guy is like holding his hand as he goes. Behind the window there, I think that is when he got his payment. Because apparently then he see pays his actors. Okay, let's do this again, the last one now. And then we can go. Yes. It takes a genius to see that it's not for everybody, but anyway, thank you for watching this episode. And this is enough proof. And whether he takes down this video again, I'm not going to hit back at him. This was just another episode because, well, I have other things I need to do with my channel, okay? I don't have to be talking about then you see then and here and there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me. This is my official end. Please click that button right down there subscribe like give a thumbs down just interact with the video i'll appreciate anything from that so thank you for watching and thank you for being with me for this short period see you next time